Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanna cover what does the first three months look like when you first get hired as a network engineer? I get this question a lot. A lot of people, a lot of my students are getting jobs and they keep asking, what does the first three months look like? So I like to go ahead and cover that. And just so you know, don't panic. You are gonna go through moments of what are known as imposter syndrome, which is just you not knowing what to do uh, the first couple of months, that's completely normal. And most jobs, they do give you on the job training. So if you guys are new in tech or, or or even have experience, you know that when you start a new job, they're not just gonna immediately start giving you work to do. There's some sort of onboarding process that, that goes, that happens first before they can ever say, hey, this person's ready to get work done, right? So let's kind of cover what the, the sequence is. And don't worry, like if you guys are new, this is the process. Not every company is the same, but this is just how it's been for me in my, in my jobs that I've worked as a network engineer. So I like to just share that with you and how it works. And hopefully this can give you some comfort and, 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 and make you feel a little bit better if uh, you're starting a new job soon. And just so you guys know. So let's go ahead and jump in. So basically the first thing um, I want you guys to know is that there's some sort of thing called onboarding. So I don't know if you guys know about this, but onboarding basically means it's usually this can take one week, this can take one month or two months. It depends on how the company structures are onboarding. But the onboarding process basically gives you a time period to get set up with all the systems, right? Um, if it's a very high secure environment, obviously they have to do a lot of background checks and a lot of things. And you're gonna be watching a lot of videos, a lot of boring videos, a lot of videos about company policy, company ethics, all that cool stuff. So that's something that you're gonna have to just get used to and you're probably not gonna get any work. So in the onboarding time, you're you're really just gonna be chilling for the most part, I would say. Um, but you are gonna be obviously meeting the team, right? So meeting team members, that's one big area um, that you're gonna be doing. You're also gonna be, you know, getting logins. Um, so, you know, logins to devices and stuff. Excuse the bad handwriting. As a network engineer, we know we, we don't have really good handwriting as you guys know, but, um, I'm just kidding. Just it sucks to write on an iPad. That's why. But you, you're gonna do. You're gonna get a bunch of login info, right? So I don't know if you guys know, but as a network engineer, you're pretty much use tons of tons and tons of software. And the software ranges from monitoring tools to security tools to um, um, terminal shells that you're gonna be using for secure CRT to Wireshark or whatever you guys need packet captures. You're gonna get. Need, you're going to get. You're going to need to get access to the company softwares so you can actually do the work, whether it's Jira or whatever. Because the first couple of days you don't have access to it, you're probably gonna get your key card. You're probably gonna get access to a lot of different things. And that is the time period where you're just going to be meeting the team. And this is usually the first week. Um, I'll say one, uh, I'll say like, you know, first week, right? So this is around first week. So around this period, you're kind of not doing much. Um, but now as we fast forward on to like, maybe like the second week, this is the time period. And maybe you'll do this in the, in the, in the first week as well, but you're going to be, um, finding a mentor or like someone like a buddy, right? So basically what's going to happen is on your fir first or second week, it depends. You're going to be kind of like you're mentoring someone or like you're going to be with someone who's just going to be like training you. Like imagine me, I'm just working and then you'll just sit next to me right here and just watch everything that I do. And this week can be the most coolest week or the most confusing week for most people because they're teaching you stuff and depends on who's, who your buddy is. They may not be the best at teaching. And, uh, you know, I've taught many network engineers in my companies that I've worked at. Um, when someone comes in, I'm able to just go and teach them exactly, you know, what I do day to day. And if you guys are network engineers, uh, please be nice and be kind to those newer engineers who do join. Uh, I know it, it, it can be tough for them. And, and the best thing you can do is just be calm, you know, talk from the perspective as if they're new and come from and assume they don't know what you're talking about. Right. But then during that period, you're going to be mentoring with them. They're going to be, you know, you're going to be asking a lot of questions and you should ask a lot of questions. If you do not ask a lot of questions in this period, you're going to be confused, right? So this is a time period where you have to ask tons of questions, like questions galore, right? You need to ask so many questions. I mean, this is like the most important thing you, you should be doing because here's the thing, you're going to have the question either way, right? You're, you're always going to be wondering about something, right? You know, you're always going to be wondering, Hey, is this working? Or am I doing the right thing or whatever? If you're not asking questions, you're going to assume that you know what you're, what you're doing. And then when you actually get the work to, to do and you can't do the work, they're going to be like, okay, this person, maybe it's been four months and now you're asking a question that you should have asked in the second week, right? This is the time to ask questions because you will have questions. And if you don't have questions, that is very concerning. It's actually better to have questions and not have questions around this period. I mean, it's fine to always ask questions when you're a network engineer or whatever IT profession you get into. But if you're not willing to ask questions, you're really going to struggle. You're absolutely going to struggle. And this is the period where you must do it. Now in this period, 
By this time, um, going into the third week, you should have access. You should have access to everything at this point, to all the softwares, right? To, you know, all the tools that you use, pretty much everything that we do as a network engineer, you should have access to it. The question is like, how do I go about using it, right? And this is the time where you once you have access, they're probably gonna give you an easy ticket. Cause as a network engineer, usually we get tickets or we get some sort of work that we have to do. And as a network engineer, they wanna make sure you're able to do the work, right? So they're gonna give you work, very simple work, and you're just gonna be mentoring with that person but instead of them showing you what they do, you're gonna be doing it and then they're gonna watch you do it. It's learned by doing this and what most companies do because they notice it's the most efficient way to train you. And companies are not here to train you, they're not here to make you wait to train you, right? It, it, it does take time. And uh, the good thing is the training process is very simple. You're just gonna be getting easy tickets in the beginning. You're gonna be kind of like cruising Trying to, trying to get your understanding, but you should always be asking questions. And this is not the time period to kind of relax. You gotta put your foot on the gas, ask as much questions. And when you're doing the work, ask even for more work, right? Don't be afraid to be the person to say, oh, this is too much for me, I'm new. No, don't be afraid, right? Put pressure on yourself, right? And you're gonna go through the imposter syndrome. You're gonna be like, hey, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost, but that's totally fine. Because in this time period, you're gonna be, you're gonna be, learning but you're going to be learning by doing right so you're going to be getting all these tickets and stuff um, that your peer mentor will be giving you and which is great this is great news because this is the time you're actually going to be learning right and then going into the fourth week by this period you're, you're you have access to all the softwares you've been asking questions you have your buddy um, hopefully you made your friends now one month one month in now this is a time where you're probably either going to be on your own or at least you're going to have some support Right, but they're gonna are start they are most likely gonna start giving you work right and this is the fun part this is the part where you could actually do your work and you're you're no longer like the new guy although you know depending on the company you're still always going to be the new guy unless they're always hiring people but this is a time period where you're going to be doing work where you're going to be getting tickets and they expect you to do the work right sometimes for companies this period is shorter or longer I've been at companies where I'd never had to do work for like a month and a half. And it just depends on how the company is structured. But around this one month period is when you should be getting some work on your own. And at this period, obviously, they're going to give you easy stuff, but they expect you to do it. And this is where you've been taking notes, where you've been asking questions and all that stuff. And you should be able to do the work they give you, whether it's a ticket or an install or a decom or, or an augmentation or whatever they give you. You should be able to do it. And you should do it with no issue, hopefully. And, but this is where imposter syndrome comes, right? And once you get imposter syndrome, this is where you should always go back to your mentor. You should always go back to the questions you asked and all that stuff. If you don't do that, you're really gonna struggle. You're really gonna struggle. And this is something you must do, absolutely must. And if you miss out on doing that, you're really gonna struggle. So. That is typically how the first couple of months or first month goes when you first get hired. So if you guys are just got hired, please let me know in the comment section below how that process has gone for you. Quite curious on how that went for you guys. Let me know if this is how it worked for you. This is how it worked for me as a network engineer. Maybe it's different. And one thing I also wanna mention is as a network engineer, we since we have a lot of power, we do have network access. They do give us access to the network. So once we have access to the network, you have to remember that takes time to get. Like the first day, they're not going to give you access to the network. That would be very crazy. Um, so maybe the first month or sorry, the first week, you should not, you probably don't even have access to the network. So you can't even configure anything. But usually about week two or even the first month, you might not even have access to the network. So don't get too excited about configuring stuff yet. Um, but this is where you kind of wait and chill and, and wait to see what happens. So that's kind of the process. And uh, that's kind of how it goes for, for new engineers. So if you guys are new um, or starting your position, maybe this is help for you guys or if you guys are working maybe this is something that you've, you've experienced so please put it down in the comment section below but thank you guys for tuning in i really do appreciate you guys support it really means the world to me if you guys like videos like this go ahead and subscribe if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up and with that being said everyone thank you guys so much for your time and peace